It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Let's have another edition of what I should do and what I'm probably going to do. I've been having problems with the video on some of my episodes. Some of you have noticed. Those of you who just listen like I tell you to haven't noticed. Good for you. Thank you for listening. It's so important to me. So, for whatever reason, and I don't understand how this technology works, sometimes when I'm talking you get the like the snow and the lines and it looks like I'm doing this even when I'm doing this and then it looks like I have four arms and see I got four arms right there. But, sounds going on inside the camera. There's something wacky and the video is messed up. So I give a little tap, a little love tap, and then it fixes itself. Other times it turn on doesn't need love tap at all. So in my eyes that means something's bound to go soon, like it's just going to break. And I bought it well, about it three years ago. I think it's covered under warranty still. So when it dies, I'll take it to BS Buy and they will come up with some BS and then I'll have to buy a new camera. Which, you know, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, except I do like the fact that I'm pigeonholed to a three minute episode, because who knows how long I talk otherwise. But I have to admit, if I was given the rain, free reign to do whatever I wanted, the longer episodes and shorter episodes would all be equally entertaining. The only thing that having an exactly three minute episode does is it allows me to syndicate my show, and it allows me to show that I know how to work within deadlines because I certainly can't show that with my work and my professional job because no one uses deadlines there. So what I should do is go out and buy another camera ahead of time so when this one breaks I can go, aha, I have a camera ready to go for my next episode. But instead, I'm going to use that money to buy a bunch of hockey cards that I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but it's a sterling good price. I'm not going to say no. And their hockey cards are crying out loud. You know, the problem with going out with someone who has lots of storage space is you stop putting that into the equation when you decide whether to buy things. You just start thinking, oh, I got room for that. Not cool. I got to unload a bunch of shit too, and well, I'm working on it. I took out the trash yesterday. Getting there. Getting there. I overslept and I'm not going to the gym this morning because I have a meeting at 11 and there's just no way I can do both. So I got to go to the gym tomorrow. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.